Today in Photoshop, we are going to take a look at using layer comps when creating multiple variations of the same content. So to get started, I'm going to go over to my toolbar and grab my rectangle tool. Then I'm just going to drag out a simple square by holding shift. Once I have this, I can click and drag while holding alt to make two copies of this square. Now after that, you can go over and change the color of each square so that they have a unique appearance. So after you are done getting your shapes out on the stage, go ahead and go up to the window menu and then down to layer comps. Once you have your panel open, go ahead and click the new layer comp icon to create a snapshot of our current document layout. Now when the dialog box comes up, make sure and name your comp appropriately. Then make sure that all of the checkboxes are checked as we will want to make sure that our layer comp tracks changes in the visibility, position, and appearance of our layers. So once you are done with that, go ahead and click OK. You will now see a layer comp added in your panel. So now we can go ahead and rearrange our shapes into different layouts on the stage so you get to see the real power of using layer comps. So once you have your shapes rearranged, go ahead and click to add another new layer comp. Now make sure and give this one a different name than the first and click OK. So now if we go over to our layer comps panel and click between our layer comps, you can see that our document jumps between the different configurations and stylings of the layers. So now that you have your layer comps created, you may find a time when you want to update a layer comp and make some changes. So in order to do this, just go ahead and make your changes, then select your layer comp, and then right click on it and select update layer comp from the menu. Now from this menu, you can also duplicate comps, restore your working comp from a saved comp, and adjust other options. By using layer comps to track different arrangements of your layers, you can easily compare iterations of similar content. Now this makes it perfect for things like web design where layouts are constantly up for rearrangement. So as always, if you enjoyed this Photoshop tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.